Hey guys, Rad here. Another video for Radis Lord of the Dead. Today I've got something a little different for you. Building around the ghoul. Around the Black Widow, the unfrozen, the Blood Phantasm. We'll start in the back. Blood Phantasm. Got a great ultimate. Torment Eternal. Ignition ability. Does 40% damage. Set targets on fire. Doing 40% damage each turn. And extends duration of all debuffs on the targets by one turn. So... Any kind of debuff you put on there is going to stay as long as she keeps refreshing this Torment Eternal. And we're going to be casting it just about every turn. It's got a nice finisher ability as well, Moaning Chains. I may have downplayed this in a previous video, but it's actually quite strong when you start um, stacking debuffs. Especially since it can hit all four positions. So that's a good one. Every once in a while she throws out her Mark of Vengeance on the tank. Um, gives retaliation damage if the tank gets attacked. And there's certain situations where, you know, maybe highly evasive elves and such... Throw that on the tank and it can do some damage. And she uses these once in a while, but not very often. So, And she never uses that. So that's the Blood Phantasm. We max out her attack and we're trying to top out her evasion right now. I've thrown a point into other things here and there, but that's basically where it is. Unfrozen caught a pretty big nerf, but still the best support caster in Aratus, I think. I have to think about that, but he's pretty close. Ice River, it's his main ability, is DPS, uh, three target attack. They lose initiative. You gain initiative with your trinket, and then the difference in initiative between you and your target gives you 5% damage. So this is worth 10% extra damage per cast. This is worth 30% damage over time. It's pretty good. Ice Lance, single target physical attack, ignores block, which is important because we're, we're quasi-magic comp here. We're kind of half and half, but if you're going to use one physical attack, you want to ignore block. So that's a good one. And then we've got the Winner's Grass, which is the pull. 40% more damage from all star sources for two turns. That's excellent. Um, able to hit all four positions. Great pull. And then the heal. Better than it looks, I guess is the best I'll say about the heal. And the ultimate, which uh, is actually quite good in this build because we throw it out quite a bit. Very similar to the Ice River, but does more damage. Only hits two targets. And um, when you have that minus five initiative with the Blood Phantasm's ultimate, it's pretty decent. They, they act last, to put it that way. The Ghoul, Q ability, Restrain Slaughter. This is a highly, highly, highly underrated ability. If you look at it, ignores block, target loses all blocks. Well, that's pretty, it's pretty all-encompassing right there. So you can attack all four positions with that. So if there's someone in the back and they're a caster and they've got four blocks, you don't care. You just chunk them for half their life on the first turn. So, great ability. You use this through the first half of the fight. Second half of the fight, you swap over to Predatory Instincts once all the blocks are gone and you have a lot of dots stacked up. This one does 80% damage instead of 100, but it deals an additional 8 to 9 damage for each buff or debuff on the target. So, you know, you got a couple of casts in the Blood Phantasm. All the Unfrozen Ice Rivers are still on there. You got the odd cast in the Black Widow, maybe a, a, a Grasp. You know, you can crit for, I've seen 350, 400 damage, which is off the charts. I haven't seen that from any of the units. It's, it's overkill, right? But it's fun. We're playing with the ghoul here, right? We're not playing seriously. Never use that. We don't use this. This Digest Anything is useful with this gruesome snack, which is the class trinket. I don't think we're going to be using this much longer, but it was great on the first floor uh, just for sustain. And this basically gives you a stack of lunch break. And then you can use this to eat your lunch break, and then you get all your life back. Weird mechanic, anyway. And then the ultimate lets you eat something at uh, less than 20%, I think it is. Less than 40% vigor. And then uh, you gain buffs, and then you get another stack of lunch break. So we've never used this. We've never had to, but it's there if we had to. Black Widows are tank. You could use the Bone Golem. That would be perfectly fine. Black Widow has more debuffs. Which I don't even know if the Bone Golem has a debuff. But anyway, Black Widow has a bunch of debuffs, so she works great. Uh, this is her best one here. Target loses all block and ward. Everything else, all the other attacks is pretty irrelevant. Target loses all block and ward. You could just cast that. That would be great. But it also gives 20% less damage and ignores ward. Magic attack that produces armor resistance. All around great. This little kick is every once in a while is the best thing that you can throw out there. Minus 16 luck and evasion. And she's got her cocoon, which gives her regeneration, and her ultimate, which spreads her spider web all over the, or her spider venom all over the enemy team. So that's fantastic. Um, 
I'm experimenting with this. It, it's fine. Two random enemies. You do get two charges of her spider venom. Uh, I don't know. Six and one half dozen the other. Five accuracy is the main um, advantage here. Now let's go back and actually we talk about the ghouls. Ghoul, we maxed attack. We gave her a block and ward. Now we're giving her evasion. Pretty simple. Black Widow. Maxed hit points and initiative. And now we're giving her a little bit of block and ward, even though it's not very good. Unfrozen, maxed attack and initiative. Now we're giving her a little bit of evasion. Let's pop over, look at the talents. Off the bat, we came right down here, got Battle of Turner for heal. Then we swapped right over, got the three attack, amok, advanced ballistics for 12 accuracy. That's great. And then overwhelming IR to help us cast the uh, Blood Phantasm's ultimate repeatedly. Then we went over to magic, grabbed this for five mana, came down, got to spell, switched over to destruction, got mocking slap, deals a bunch of damage with extra damage if the target's on fire, so that's good, because we're going to light things on fire. And then we just picked up Bone Obelisk, which is a uh, big damage single target stun. I think that's about it. Without further ado, let's take it in. We got a third floor elite fight. It's like a bunch of elves. Now we did a previous video on the damage shield on the on the Black Widow. So we won't do that again because it does just evaporate them. So we're going to use the ghoul. We're going to use the Q ability. Attack all four positions. We're going to take away all our blocks. And chuck her to half-life. That's a good start. We use the pull on this gentleman here. Use all his blocks and wards. And Frozen does his thing. Now, yeah, we could throw the Mark of Vengeance on him, and these guys would just kill themselves attacking the Black Widow. But we're, we're going to show the other side of this. I'm going to drop down our, our damage over time ability, and then we're going to tank up. So we're going to go back again, try to chunk down the Bard. Got a choice here. We can go with single target on the board. We can use the AOE. We're just going to use the OB because we're not really too worried about the bar. Because once this ticking dot gets going, they're all dead anyway. And I think we're about to kill her with the. So we go and we look, and we see their debuffs. They've got the two stacks of Ice River right there, right? So they got the Torment Eternal, they got they got two stacks of Torment Eternal, they got two stacks of Ice River. So now when we attack them, we're doing 92 damage. Because we have that that buff. Um, I don't know how many buffs and debuffs they have. At this point, we're we've given them enough stacks. So we're probably just gonna be looking to deal with this guy who's very dodgy. Just let this guy bleed out. We can use this uh, physical attack. He's got a buff and a debuff, so that does 110 damage. All right? It's a lot of damage for just a normal, I guess that's the W ability. 137 just from the W. A sad display. So those debuffs combined with what your minions can do, do a great job. So that's a third floor elite fight. Right, here we go. Third floor elite fight. Take two. Same idea. Green blocks. I think this time we will use the damage shield. Just for kicks. Should probably do something with the flight board. Claw in. Oh, never mind. I forgot the world. Apply the debuff. Now my guys are all out of position. We can kill them. 
close. Back him up. Start stacking up some more debuffs. More dots. Can't move her because we've got a ball and chain, so we'll move him. Let's see, guys. He's got one, two, three. He's got one, two, three, four. All right. That worked. Can't heal him if we one shot him, right? Okay, we're going to start using his ultimate now. No, I guess we'll use them both. Alright, his dodge is over. I think we just use the punch here. Let's keep buff him for damage. Big claw. And hit him with the... I guess it's the S. I thought it was the W. It's the S. Alright, that's the one. we got... AOE with the uh, unfrozen, so not anticipating it being really all that difficult, but we shall see. My experience is tanking means nothing in this, so I think with a spider we're just going to throw up spiders. Even though he does cleanse the spiders. Just rely on him for healing. Hopefully the green ones don't go to the back too often. Don't know if this does anything for us. This is a mean. Should have checked and seen if we actually got any healing out of that. Didn't feel like we did. So it looks like he's on fire, but I guess he isn't. Spiders. Now if we're generating mana every turn, just mocking slap him repeatedly. Alright, so the ultimate didn't do much. I think we'll just go face on him. Maybe with her we'll just just kick the health. Get a little heal. Well, it wasn't really a lot, was it? Alright, we're gonna go face again. Bodies fail you. It doesn't seem like we got any extra damage off of the Mocking Slap, even though he is on fire. So we're going to use the Bone Obelisk, even though we know the stun it. Just because it, it's the most damage we got. And then... Should we just Ice River this? Should we alright? Maybe we should have ulted. Face. Oops. Jesus. Are we okay back there? I don't think we are, but do we have a movement ability? We do. We could torment. I think I'd rather torment with him. Right, we're going to go face here. We'll kick the health again. Even though it wasn't a ton of healing. I 
All right, well, this is good. We can just get him and the health. Before he acts, we'll get another bone obelisk on him. Let's get a debuff on him, so this is probably going to be all right. Face. Be easy now. Maybe we'll just put the minus twenty damage on him. Then we'll get him in the health. Nice. Go face. We don't have enough for Bone Obelisk here, do we? So let's give him a mocking slap instead. Nice. Your frail bodies fail you. Finish him off a little. Ooh. Yeah, he looks like he's about to execute our guy. There we go. Mop up the gore. Okay, it gets easier, easier every time I fight him. Play. 